Welcome guys, thank you for checking out this video. So I'm gonna be going over one of my kind of favorite topics, one I was looking at, at doing uh, a while ago, uh, but obviously I'm gonna do it today. Low interest or low APR credit cards. Now I'm gonna be discussing these because these are a great option in terms of reducing the overall you would pay when making any kind of purchase or even in relation to transfers. So guys, if you guys are looking for a credit card, uh, you're not too sure which one you're looking for, you would like low interest on it because obviously interest always adds up in everything can become more expensive, then this is gonna be a video you would want to watch because I'll be discussing three credit cards here with low interest rates that are worthwhile considerations. And this video is applicable for credit cards that are UK based, because obviously I'm from the UK. So guys, if you're from the UK and looking for a low interest credit card, keep watching this video. I'm gonna be discussing three that I personally like. Guys, let's get on with this video. Right guys, so before I get into this video, the normal jargon or the normal stuff I usually say, if you have not already subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing. On top of that, like the video and hit the notification bell so you do not miss any videos going forward. And I just need to put a disclaimer out there which is quite important. Um, this isn't a video uh, based on me being a financial advisor. I'm not a financial advisor. I cannot advise you on any kind of financial product. This is just kind of knowledge I've gained and I'm sharing with you. If you do need Need financial advice, seek it from a financial advisor. So do your own research when uh, obviously looking at any of these products are discussed because that's fundamental on uh, making your own decision which will be correct in your circumstances. So guys, like I discussed at the beginning of this video, I'm going to be discussing low APR or low interest credit cards. And essentially, uh, if I briefly explain it, it's not very a detailed explanation in terms of what is a low APR credit card. Now, a low APR or a low interest uh, credit card offers, well, sometimes it offers a low rate on purchases and a lower rate on balance transfers, but this may be for a certain period of time. Uh, alongside this low interest feature, it allows you to manage your debt much more effectively because the interest you're gonna be paying on whatever purchase you make is gonna be much lower. There's some credit cards out there, actually not some, there's loads of credit cards out there that offer 20%, 30%, 40%. It goes above 40%, some go higher. It's just, if you add up from that percentage, how much interest would be put on, say, a thousand pound balance? Uh, you will be in a substantial amount of debt, especially if you, you know, you keep, uh, you know, every month, you're not really paying kind of the full balance on time. Well, you're not paying the whole balance on time, but you're making small, small chunks of it. It's good, but they're still gonna add interest on because they've lent you this money and it's still outstanding. So that's why I think you just need to do overall research when you go for credit cards. And I would consider, or I would recommend a low APR one. So if we start off with the, the first consideration here. So the first card I'm gonna be discussing is the advanced credit card, I think it's a MasterCard from TSB. Now obviously this is separated from the Lloyds Banking Group a while ago, so I'm not be I'm not going to be discussing any other Lloyds Banking Group group card in this video like Halifax, uh, Bank of Scotland and obviously Lloyds itself. Uh, I've specifically chosen TSB because it, you know it offers a great low interest rate. Obviously they do as well, but like I said I'm not going to be discussing those ones even though they've separated Separated off in their own direction. Now, the TSB Advanced Credit Card uh, basically offers 9.9 .9 interest variable. Now, essentially, this is going to be a point to remember for 
all cards, right? So I may specify as 9.9 .9 or 10%, like in this case, it's a 9.9 .9, uh, interest rate per variable. That essentially means that everything's going to be assessed. So when you do apply for it, don't think you're going to get 9.9 interest rate. They will consider your application, kind of all the debt you have, how you're paying those back, and then assess what interest rate to offer you. So they might offer you 15%, 16. So this 9.9 .9 is, uh, it really depends on your circumstances and your kind of current credit situation. But obviously it's a fantastic rate if you do get 9.9. .9. Enhanced, that's what variable means. It depends really on your circumstances. Uh, other things that, that you will or perks you will get with this card is a 0% interest on purchases for three months, which is really good because you're kind of saving on the interest there when you're making purchases. You get 0% interest for the first three months on balances transferred within 90 days. And then you get 0% balance transfer fee applies in the first 90 days. And after the 90 days, a fee of 5% will essentially be applicable. Now, obviously, that is good perks there. It's that you get these nice introductory offers, especially if you're interested in these kind of balance transfers and purchases. Um, there's one con I do want to say about this card, and I've had this TSB uh, MasterCard in the past. I did get a very good rate, even though I didn't get the 9.9, .9, I got 12 point, uh, I think it's 12.5 or something like that, which is still very, very good. However, um, the issue I personally faced with this card, I don't know why they're in such the, the old age, and bear in mind, this is just a few days ago, um, that if you have to pay any kind of balance off for this TSB MasterCard, with most of credit cards, I'm used to going to the app and essentially opening up the payment page and just playing directly with whatever card you have stored on there and done, that's it. They don't have that option on their, um, on their uh, app facility, which is really, I was surprised because everyone's doing it, majority of them doing it. So um, if you don't like to do transfers for uh, these kind of uh, these payments you owe by bank transfer or what was the other option? It was bank transfer, you got check, uh, I think there's one more, but there's no payment, oh sorry, your telephone, you can pay by telephone, but I was having issues with the telephone one and the bank transfer one uh, at the beginning. Once I saw it, that out was fine. But for me, um, I stopped it, not because of the interest rate was very good, still very competitive compared to what others offered. However, I want to be able to pay directly on the app with a card stored. So other than that minimal con, which is not quite big, I would say this is definitely a worthwhile consideration, guys, uh, as a low interest card. So let's move on to the next one. So the next one I'm gonna be discussing is the Tesco credit card low APR card, essentially. So the reason why I've chosen this is because the majority of us in the UK do shop at Tesco's. So the handy benefit here is that, uh, well, this is gonna be obviously a perk and a positive point here, that, that you can use a specific credit card to make purchases plus get your club card points, guys. So if you are a fan of Tesco, I think this may be a very good option for you because you can gain your club card points. You don't need to use that secondary card or the stoop, or the, sorry, or the app to basically gain those points. Point. So you can say it's two and two in one essentially. Uh, the APR here is 10.9. Again, pretty competitive and it's quite low. It's pretty much near enough to the um, what was what the T T S B one. Obviously, again, variable depending on your circumstances. They will assess what APR or what low interest rate to apply it to you. But obviously, uh, this uh, low interest rate is on purchases, so there's nothing really mentioned on their website in terms of balance transfers. So obviously, if that's a consideration. Consider uh, the T S B card. But yeah, I think the positive point, like I've said, 
is you can get your club card points with this, which is very, very handy. Um, the other factor I would just say, I don't know in terms of how you can make payments um, on this specific card because I've never really owned this card. So I can't say, but I'm hoping Tesco, being as big as it is, have um, come up with a system to pay directly on the card. Otherwise, it'd be pretty disappointing to be fair. So yeah, that's number two. Not much more to say. Now let's move on to the last card. Right guys, so the last card I'm gonna be discussing is the NatWest credit card. Now NatWest in the past I've used their facilities. They're actually very good in terms of the app is very nice to use. And that's essentially why I've chosen this because I wanted to pick some companies that I've got some experience in. Tesco, obviously, I've got experience in the extent of the, the club card feature, the club, you know, club card points you get, which uh, essentially it, it's quite a good positive point for that card. With this NatWest, I've got experience of their service and that is actually very good. So the card here is the NatWest credit card. They haven't got anything next to it, but it's basically one of the ones if you go on their website, and narrow down the search. It's the low APR one, so the low interest credit card. So the low interest here is 12.9 on the purchase rate, essentially. And you also get no balance transfer fees. And the other point that other card companies have not mentioned, which would have been quite useful, is no foreign transaction fees on purchases, which is really handy. So when you do go abroad and make some purchases, you won't get any transaction fees on them, which is extremely, extremely good. And I think that's a good perk. Um, so with this one, again, um, I don't really see any Con, uh, I'm sure again that NatWest have the facility to make payments directly on the app because I've used their kind of facilities before and I was able to do payments and things um, on the app then. So I doubt they would have that issue now. And plus they have been around for a long time. T TSB have been around for a long time, but I think since they're separated from the Lloyds Banking Group. So yeah, Lloyds Banking Group was much better at offering more innovative uh, more uh, better services than TSB itself. I think the fact that TSB has uh, managed to go off by themselves now, um, they're not doing as well as when they were doing collectively as part of the Lloyds Banking Group. Uh, that's their choice anyways. So guys, that's the three selection I've chosen. Of course, there are others, but I didn't want to do all these kind of options. I'd rather specifically narrow it down to the ones that I personally preferred or have some background knowledge in terms of the company and the services itself. Um, so yeah, I hope this was useful. Obviously, do your own research when considering getting a low interest rate credit card. And do bear in mind that the, the credit limit um, that they basically offer, they provide this kind of guideline of £1,200 as the credit limit they possibly, um, that they might offer, or like essentially, tw they provide this limit of £1,200 as a kind of a guidance on their site in terms of how their interest will work on that balance. However, uh, when you do apply, like uh, in terms of the interest rate they would give to you, they would assess your overall application, how much money you currently have borrowed, how good you are at paying that money back, and then provide you a credit limit uh, that is suitable for your circumstances after evaluating everything. So do bear that in mind. Um, you don't know what credit limit you're going to get until they've passed you. And then afterwards, sometimes you find out when you get a letter um, or you just basically, you'll find out at some point you might get email with a credit limit on it. Everyone does it kind of a different way. Uh, American Express, that once they passed, with American Express, it was quite interesting when I applied and it went to the end page, it basically just showed the limit straight away, which is amazing. But when I did it with say TSB, for example, or Barclay card, they alerted me afterwards. So I had got a, a letter and that said the credit limit. So all of these companies, 
they let you know in their own shape and form. Right, guys, I hope this has been handy. Uh, if you did enjoy this video, hit the like button. Uh, if you want to know any more, uh, if there's any specific videos you want me to do, please do let me know in the comments below. Any questions in the comments below, uh, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any other videos and subscribe that will support the channel and I'll bring more videos. And also guys, uh, do check out my uh, website, www.sassywoman.net. Uh, that has some blogs for you guys to read. And if you wanna further support uh, my channel, you can hit the donate button there. Right guys, I'm gonna enjoy my weekend. You enjoy yours and I'll see you in the upcoming video. Have a lovely weekend and take care my end. Bye. Thank you.